It's important to prepare a patient um, well prior to his surgery for prostate cancer and in doing this you need to go through a preoperative checklist with him. So you need to inform the patient that they're to have um, a chest x-ray and ECG prior to having their operation and also some bloods taken. It's important to get a medical history from the patient and that involves whether they're um, on any medications that may interfere with um, the surgery such as aspirin and warfarin. The nurse would have um, a detailed interview with the patient and in that detailed interview she'd go through um, diagrams of what the actual procedure was of having a laparoscopic um, radical prostatectomy. She'd also um, inform the patient of uh, drain tubes or uh, catheters that will be left in situ and how long they will stay in for. Um, depends really on the urologist that's actually doing the procedure so that may vary from um, patient to patient. It's important to educate the patient in regards to pelvic floor exercises. Um, these are crucial for their continence and um, to maintain their, their continence after their surgery as well. It's important that if the patient's not understanding um, what pelvic floor exercises are, that they're actually referred to a physiotherapist to help with these. Um, ongoing pelvic floor exercises right throughout their treatment is um, known to be beneficial for their continence in the long term. Urinary incontinence and also erectile dysfunction. These are two very um, important side effects that the patient should be aware of prior to having their surgery. It's important to educate the patient um, with post-operative care in regards to their urinary catheter and management of that. It's also important that you um, make the patients aware that they will have to wear supportive stockings whilst they're in hospital. Um, we do encourage mobilisation very early on after their operation and also um, the importance of not, be, not becoming constipated because patients that become constipated can actually put pressure on their astomosis and therefore can cause um, trauma at the, uh, at the site of their prostatectomy. It's important that patients are given a contact number um, when they are discharged from hospital so if they do have any problems post-operatively that they have someone that they can contact.